Hey, it's Sierra and Lindsay, and like today we're gonna talk about body hair. And want it to be like a natural conversation, but it's sort of difficult to just like get into all the stuff that we would want to talk about. Especially because we've already had the com these conversations. Yes, we've already talked about this before, and so we're, I'm sure we'll learn some new things about each other, but also like we want to share like our ideas and our views and our feelings about it with you guys. So, yeah. So my mom doesn't have a lot of body hair she doesn't have like any hair on her legs and she didn't really tell me anything about body hair like we never really had any like real conversations about like removing body hair and so i think that's why i am where i am now because my mom never like encouraged me to like shave my armpits or shave my vagina or anything like she never said anything about that and also because by default like i don't have like a whole lot of hair like on my legs either i do have hair under my arms and on my vagina obviously but like i don't have um a lot of hair on my legs i feel like when you're younger a lot of the discussions about body hair are often about the legs and girls like shaving their legs first because like that's like the visible thing really like yeah your armpit hair and your vagina hair, that's really not like so, I should call it pubic hair, and your pubic hair or your vagina hair, I'll call it whatever I want. Um, but that's not like talked about as much. It's more like girls like shaving their legs. Yeah, it's what people can see. Yeah, it's what people can see. And so like, I never had any hair on my legs and I still don't, so I never got into it. Pretty early on, hair on my legs got so thick. Like, I've just always been a very hairy person. I don't remember not having, like, a lot of hair on my arms. I think just genetically, I've always had very thick hair. Like, the hair on my head is thick. My eyebrows are thick. Mm -hmm. um, I started getting, like, my mustache started coming in and, like, getting really thick, like, right here. Like, I have chin hair or beard or whatever. Like, I've always just been a very hairy person. And so being that way growing up was interesting because... A lot of the messages that I got about hair was that hair was dirty, that having hair meant that you were dirty, um, that hair needed to be removed if you had it. Um, I distinctly remember being in middle school and we would wear like knee high socks. And I remember lotioning, like slicking down my leg hair <laughs> with like eucerin and then like putting the knee high socks over it and like pressing it down. Oh, wow. And I remember being, I would never wear like low socks. I would never do that. Like I love that we had knee high socks in school because it was a way for me to cover up the hair on my legs. They start to slide down and I distinctly remember like being made fun of. And so for me, it was like, I really just want to get rid of it. Who told you that having body hair was unclean? Or like, where'd you get that from? A lot of the reactions to seeing body hair is ill. That's gross. Yeah. You know? So it's very easy to then think, okay, well then, that means it's dirty. Mm -hmm. So that's that was some of the first things that I knew about body hair. I have great, like, yeah. you know, personal hygiene. Like, I want to be seen as a clean person. Yeah. In high school, I would shave my underarms, shave my happy trail on my stomach. And then I discovered Nair. And in high school, I was just the Nair queen, all the way through college. Honestly, I still use Nair now. I was the Nair queen. I Nair'd everything, everything. Like my legs from my ankles all the way up to my pubic hair. Like I Nair'd all the hair off my vagina, all of it. And there were times when the Nair would burn me. Like I would burn, like literally burn my vagina with Nair. Um, there were times when I left the Nair on way too long on my legs and I'd have like red lines on my legs from the nair <laughs> to me it was unhealthy it was at a point where it was just unhealthy i was so obsessed with making sure that there was no hair on my body that i would go through like chemical burns just to not have hair on my body so i never shaved my legs i remember one time when i was in middle school i like thought it would be interesting to like shave my whole body just like i was bored in the shower one day so i like shaved a little bit of whatever is on my legs, I shaved my pubic hair, I shaved like what's on my stomach, I shaved my arms, I shaved my armpits, and I was in like sixth grade. Um, and after that, like since then, I've never ever shaved my legs before. 
and never actually shaved like all of my pubic hair off so like I definitely do like the or I did and I'm still like working on this but like the um like bikini line I definitely would shave that off and like my stomach the hair on my stomach and the hair on my armpits I also know that like I never liked shaving I never have and from a young age I realized this about myself and I remember like around that time figuring out that there are things that are natural and there are things that are unnatural and I realized that shaving was sort of unnatural and I didn't want to do it and I also never liked it like I've just never liked a lot of like a very like complicated routine it honestly started with me like actually just not liking shaving and I was like why am I doing this and then asking more questions have you felt pressure to like remove or keep body hair when I was younger in terms of removing hair I think the, I feel like the pressure was more from like social influences so, like TV you know no one on TV walks around with hairy legs mm -hmm. um, magazines just different images like that um, and then boys in school um, who would ridicule you for having as a woman having body hair um, and now that I'm older I think that the pressure to remove body hair it comes more from women I'm noticing now women yeah. um, in my life more so than any um, more so than <coughs> images and people that I don't really know more so than men um, I think it's really just like the women in my circle the women around me yeah. is where the pressure to remove comes from and I think in terms of pressure to keep body hair um, Sometimes now when I want to like shave my underarms, it feels like I'm betraying this whole idea of mm -hmm. um, just being completely natural and comfortable in my skin. Like I can either have all my body hair, I can remove all my body hair, but I can't do both. Like, so that pressure I think is more of an internal pressure to keep it. With that pressure, I'm just starting to get to a point where it's like, you know, as a woman, I can do whatever the fuck I want. You know, yeah. I can remove it, I can keep it. It's my decision, it's my comfort, and it's not about anyone else. Yeah, yeah. In some ways, I do the same thing as like a rebellion, but in some ways, my the way I go, to about, go about it is like the opposite. Even if I feel uncomfortable, I'll push myself to, not, to like not shave. And I, like I said, I don't like shaving. I've never liked shaving. So if I ever did shave, it would only be because of society's pressure. Like that's the only reason why. I do have hair under my arms and like on my crotch and so it's like I know that like that's not like normal like m that a lot of women shave this hair and I agree I feel the pressure mainly from women um, but I push myself to like be uncomfortable and I don't know if that's like you know it works for me I guess but I push myself to be uncomfortable until I get comfortable and I'm already a lot more comfortable with it like even like I remember like a month ago I felt uncomfortable about going out and like not shaving my arms but like then I went out like a couple days ago and I really didn't care at all and pressure from other women I think I would say like I don't feel pressure like from my friends or anything like that it's more just like the like the, the image of women that we see like in in popular culture like no one there is no representation of women like us who keep their body hair and there are times or sometimes but um there are also spaces where I feel comfortable and proud of my body hair you've actually like helped me a lot with that because honestly like I probably wouldn't like have my body hair if it weren't for you being so open with it and like I remember like when we were in Colombia, like you said, like about my happy trail, you were like, oh, it's so cute. And like, I was like, hmm, I never thought of it that way because I actually like feel insecure about it. And if I shave, then like I'm sort of like betraying like myself, betraying you, betraying like the people, all the people that I've had conversations about body hair with like, oh, look, she changed her mind or blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. that's how I feel. I also thought of another topic though and I don't know if you want to talk about this I'm like okay with talking about this but in terms of like sex and body hair or like what was your like experience with that 